Hello, good evening, master speakers and guests. I am master speaker Dishan, and today I am playing the role of. I welcome you all to the 110th meeting of the Forum International, and it was started in the year 2008, and its main motto is, is to build and improve public speaking of people. And let me explain three main ground rules of this meeting. Keep yourself muted while you are not speaking. Keep your video on, which shows your attentiveness in the meeting. Don't talk offensive, like religious or political, which may hurt others. These were the three rules, and let me invite today's president. He likes roaming and exploring new things in the world, and he likes mingling with other people. Help me in inviting today's president, Master. Speaker Mujirat sir, I request Master Speaker Anjali to continue forward. Good evening, Master Speakers and guests. Hope you all are doing good, and welcome you all for the one hundred tenth meeting of Me for You Master Speakers Club. The theme is Independence Day. Recently, on fifteenth August, we celebrated the Independence Day, and the Independence Day vibes are yet roaming around. Like we feel that. the independence day is yet going on because this time it was the 75th independence day and it was a great celebration we had kept our indian flag at our whatsapp dps instagram profile photo and all other social medias and we had hoisted a flag e one flag at everyone's home which is called as har ghar tiranga now let me tell you some basic just basic information where some people might be knowing and some people may not be knowing in republic day they we unfold the flag and in independence day we hoist the flag can you tell me what is uh, the difference between unfolding and hoisting anyone who knows it okay so uh, in the republic day what they do is unfolding the flag the flag will be already at the top of the pole and will be unfolded and in independence day what happens from the bottom the flag will be uh, tied in such a way at the bottom of the flag pole and then it will be raised till the up and then it will be hoisted so this is what the difference between the independence day and the republic day in our independence day we hoist the flag and in republic day we unfold the flag Do you know what's the reason why we hoist the flag at independence day anyone you can directly unmute and tell if you know it okay so in independence day we hoist the flag because we didn't had any president at that time at uh, the that time we just got freedom but the rules and regulations and the president was not there so the prime minister hoist the flag but in case of republic day what happens the president is there and we had all the constitution which is being written for us so that's why we unfold the flag at republic day and we hoist the flag at independence day cool so got a new point to learn today Let's move on to the meeting. Today's theme is Happy Independence Day, and the word of the day is exuberant. Exuberant, which means a lot of joy and enthusiasm and lots of respect. Now, let's go to the MOC Master of Ceremony for today's meeting. Today's Master of Ceremony is a person who is a more exuberant person, and uh, she is. Uh, the cutest girl and uh, she is both in online or offline and may as most probably she most importantly she is the vice president education of me for you master speakers club please help me in welcoming master speaker radhika thank you master speaker anjali good evening master speakers and guests welcome to the 110th meeting of 110th meeting today's theme is happy independence day as the president said a lot about the theme let me go to the segments in today's meeting we have three segments the first segment is prepared speech second table topics and the third is feedback session feedback session is nothing but where we have meeting evaluator who runs this meeting today's meeting evaluator is a person who loves to travel connect with new people and the founder of ami for you master speakers club help me in welcoming master speaker muthu raj sir Anjali. Good evening, master speakers and guests. Once again, I'm back with the role of the meeting evaluator. Meeting evaluator is a person who 
seize me time from the beginning till the end observe the positive points and the areas of improvement and tell the report at the end of the meeting i have a team there are the four pillars for me who help me to do so with this first one is a timing master and the timing master is master speaker purvi over to you greetings fellow master speakers and guests i welcome you all to the 110th meeting of me for you master speakers club i am master speaker purvi vani playing the role of timing master for today's meeting so let's start as the role of timing master i will record the time taken by each master speakers for extempore topics there will be 1 to 2 minutes at 1 minute i will show the green card at 1 minute 30 second i will show the yellow card and at 2 minutes i will show the red card you will have an extra 30 seconds to wrap up your speech for prepared speakers there will be 4 to 6 minutes of time at 4 minute i will show the green card at 4 minutes 30 second i will show the yellow card and at 6 minutes i will show the red card for speech evaluation there will be 2 to 3 minutes of time at 2 minute i will show the green card at 2 minutes 30 second i will show the yellow card and at 3 minute i will show the red card i will give my report whenever i will be asked and also if you follow time time will follow you over to you master speaker thank you master speakers for we timing master role is very important because time is very important and speaking within the time is very difficult and that is why we me for you me for your master speakers club is there to improve upon it let's go to the filler counter today's filler counter is uh, once again me itself master speaker anjali filler counter is a role where i will be counting the words like ah uh, mm, you know that but so and the sounds that is ah uh, mm. it shows that if you use those word it shows that you are not that confident while speaking so i am here to count each and every word such words and i'll be giving the meeting uh, evaluation at the end of the segment when the meeting evaluator calls me so this is what about the filler counter role filler counter role is very important since the words like uh, mm, you know that but so that should be cut off while you are speaking because those words shows that you are not that great confident while you are speaking so that is very important so let's go to the grammar master the grammar master is uh, once again me the grammar master role is a role where we take care of the grammar the grammar grammatical errors and the grammatical mistakes and even we i am a person who is going to tell about the word of the day the word of the day is exuberant you can note in a pen or paper the whole week you can use this word that is e x u b e r a n t exuberant which means lots of love joy and lots of respect okay So now, uh, grammar master role is important, as the name itself tells. Grammar, grammar is very important when we speak in English, because if there is a, a bit mistake in grammar, then uh, the English doesn't sound that great. So that is why grammar is very important when you speak in English, right? Either it be with your friends or with in an interview. So whatever it is, so when your grammar is correct, that means that you are speaking confidently and in a proper way. That sounds better also when you have a correct grammar while you are speaking. So let's move to the listening master. Listening master is Master Speaker Dishan. Hello, good evening, Master Speakers and guests. I am Master Speaker Dishan, and I'm back with my second. Uh, second role, which is the listening master. I will be hearing to everyone's speeches and asking you some questions at the at the last. So everyone, please be attentive in the meeting. I will I will ask the questions in the last when the uh, when the meeting evaluator calls me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Master Speaker Dishan. Listening master role. if you are in a school or a college and if you have something where you have to absolutely listen to your teacher so each and every lecture you have to listen so that even if you don't study at your home then also you can attend the exam without studying because when you listen to the lectures of your teachers then it is very easy to attend the exams without studying also because that will be sitting in your head for the long amount of time this is why listening master role is important in your daily life so i think it might it just not in case of school or college it's in case of your daily routine also if someone tells you something 
and you tend to forget because you don't give a proper attention to them so this is why listening master role is important so whether whomever with whomever you speak whether the words might be silly or might be professional you have to listen to each and every one properly with 100% attention so now this is all about my role i'll be giving the evaluation at the end of the meeting over to your moc master speaker radhika thank you master speaker anjali for and and team for your wonderful introductions now let's go to the first segment which is prepared speech here we have a prepared speaker who who is very energetic always ready to do any role he get and let me help me in welcoming master speaker sanjay thank you master speaker radhika for your very energetic and enthusiastic introduction to me thank you it's pleasure to be here my name is master cyrus mohan and today i am going to speak about independence day before starting my valuable topic i am going to say some quotes about independence day the quotes are you give me blood and i will give you independence which is said by subhash chandra bose and swaraj is my birth right which is said by bal gangadhar tilak do you know why 15th august is celebrated as independence day 15th august marks a very personal day for many indians for the reason in this day the india become a democratic country nearly 200 years of british rule in this year of 75th independence day 2022 we are celebrating it as azadi ka amrit mahotsav independence day is a national festival it is a very important day for all the indians it reminds us the freedom fighters of india it all all indians of india celebrate independence day by hoisting our national flag or indian flag it teaches us the power of unity and the sacrifices of the sacrifices of some freedom freedom fighters such as bhagat singh khudiram and chandrasekhar azad for their india who has lost their lives at an early age just for their country and this sacrifices of this freedom fighter is never be forgotten it remembers the struggle and pain which in which all indians went through independence day is also called as india day in many countries our prime minister of india launched har ghar tiranga campaign to encourage people to bring national flag to their home and hoist it in their home and i am going to say you happy independence day jai hind jai bharat thank you thank you master speaker sairaj uh, what was the timing actually the timing was of 2 minutes 51 seconds okay actually you have to speak for 4 to 6 minutes uh, so feed your feedback or your feedback evaluator will give your feedback let's go to the second segment which is table topics here we have a table topics master to run this segment today's table topics master is a person who is a president of this meeting and she likes uh, she is a classical dancer and she is my best friend help me in welcoming master speaker anjali thank you so much my speaker adhika good evening everyone again let's uh, enter into the extempore topic session extempore topic session is a session where the topics will be given on spot and you have to speak on the topic for 1 to 2 minutes so for 1 minute you'll be shown the green card 1 minute 30 seconds you'll be shown the yellow card and 2 minutes you'll be shown the red card 
you can uh, scroll your screen if you have a mobile or if you're in a computer you can see master speaker purvi over there so concentrate on her whenever you are speaking so that you'll be speaking within the limited amount of time which will be given and 30 seconds you'll be getting extra to wrap up your speech so let me begin with um, let me begin with uh, master speaker uh, disha hello yes so your topic is you have to tell about how did you celebrate your the independence day at your school okay hello good evening master speakers and guests i am master speaker dishan and today i have got the topic how did you say how did i celebrate independence day in my school This is the 75th Independence Day of India, and today, I, on this day, we had celebrated it in our school. We, uh, when I had gone, when I had gone to school, there first the the guests and the chief guests were invited. Then they gave speeches on Independence Day. Then our principal he. she also gave a speech on independence day we we heard it and we enjoyed a lot then the flag was hoisted and we all saluted to the flag and we sang national anthem and after and after the um, and after singing the national anthem we had we had been offered with prasad and we had come back to our houses and this was how i celebrated independence day in my school thank you thank you so much mr speaker dishan may i know his timing the time was of 1 minute 19 seconds yes so whatever you spoke like earlier compared to the earlier you crossed the 1 minute limit that was the very good thing which i liked from you and area of improvement is uh, can you please come a bit right ah so that your face is clearly visible and your hand gestures is also a completely visible so that's how we can uh, have a more effective speech so try to raise your hands while speaking like this some gestures hand gestures so that those are also important so let's go to Let's go to Master Speaker Prem. Can you please unmute yourself? So, since you have take, uh, you are studying in twelfth standard, right? I heard that um, is it science or commerce? Science. Science. So, please let me know, like, why did you choose science, and what was what is your actual aim? What you want to do? Uh, 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 my stream is science. Actually, I have uh, uh, chosen uh, science uh, due to uh, I have very, I have uh, I have interest in it. Uh, firstly, my father has told me to take admission in commerce, and uh, he he also uh, uh, he also chose me uh, chose commerce for me, and I've I've also taken admission in commerce. But after some time, I have. Uh, i changed my stream to to science due to uh, more and more interest uh, as as compared to other subjects in science i have take uh, taken admission in science and uh, uh, the career which i have to uh, which i have to do uh, i think oh, sorry the career which i have chose for my future life uh, was dependent on science like firstly uh, i have to i have to make my make my career in indian air force and uh, in a flying branch for uh, for uh, making my career in indian air force in flying branch uh, it needs science streams from uh, uh, it, it was a technical uh, branch so it needs science stream uh, science stream uh, uh, after after knowing about that 
I have chosen science. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker Priyam. May I? Uh, yes, uh, Master Speaker spoke for one minute, 34 seconds. One minute, 34 seconds. I guess it's your first time and uh, you spoke for a huge amount of time. That is really good. The thing which I liked in your speech, uh, you told it and you had a great amount of confidence while speaking. Area of improvement is the work on your filler words. That is, uh, um, those, were, uh, those sounds were used a lot amount of time. Okay, so let's go to Master Speaker Naisha. Yeah. You like yoga, right? Yeah. Can I know, like, uh, can you tell us about yoga, the importance of yoga? And uh, the independ at Independence Day, you have also performed the yoga things also. So can you just tell us about that? Yogana. Hello. Good evening, master speakers and guests. I am master speaker Naisha, and today I got the topic as how why i like yoga and how i performed in in school at independence day first of all i think yoga is very important for all everyone should do yoga every day um it helps us like if we have any pain it it helps us to recover or if we want if we have any free time i think we should do it then we let us go to the performance what I did on the Independence Day in my school, we had uh, in, we had many performance, dance, yoga, aerobics, karate, kata, etc. Many performance were there, but I chosen yoga. In yoga, we first of all, first we were about to do aerobics, uh, then at the last moment we canceled that and did yoga. We practiced a lot for it. We went, we went Sundays too. We went, we, we went Sundays too. Finally, at the Independence Day, all of us were nervous. We had the last performance. Everyone were nervous. Uh, everyone were nervous. But we saw many performances before uh, us. So we were no more nervous. We all did very good. All of them liked our yoga. We had many different, different steps. Um, we had 20 members doing all together. I love yoga very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Master Speaker Naisha. You, your confidence level and your way of telling is really amazing that I loved it from the beginning also. Whenever I see your video, the way you tell, that was really amazing. And today also you spoke really amazing. One area of improvement is you were repeating. There were many repeats, uh, three time repeated. Uh, you repeated the same lines three times. So work on that. Let's go to guest Suresh. Yeah. 